So what is a polymer is what is today's topic of conversation. Polymers that you know. Well, all these things are made out of different polymers. Okay, the Coke bottle, styrofoam cup, the bottom of someone's shoe, the Nalgene um, water containers, and this PVC pipe up on the top. So the Coke bottles are made of what we call polyethylene. The PVC, which is why it's called PVC, it's called polyvinyl chloride. The Nalgene uh, water containers are made out of a polycarbonate. The styrofoam is made out of polystyrene. This plastic bowl is made out of polyacrylalmanide. And finally, the bottom of someone's shoe, um, that stuff is called polyurethane. So what is a polymer? Well, you have substance A, and you mix it with substance B, and they make a reaction in this container here. And what comes out is what we call a polymer. And a polymer is basically these subunits that repeat. Okay? And a polymer is made out of these subunits called monomers. Okay? Polymer means many parts. Monomer means one part. And these little subunits, these repeating, and they have to be repeating, are called monomers. So let's go back to the polymers that you know. Again, these are all pretty much plastics. And most plastics are made out of petroleum, which is why we're talking about it. So here's an example of the polymer called polyethylene. So this little chunk right here is what's called repeated. And this N means how many times it repeats. This is polyurethane. And again, this little chunk next to the wavy part is what gets repeated over and over and over. And this N means the number of times it repeats. We could do the same thing with polystyrene, polycarbonate, polyacrylalmanide, or polyvinyl chloride. Here's some polymers and medical devices. Well, most of it's made out of polyurethane, but some of it's made out of these polymers, okay? Which you don't really need to know. But again, a polymer is just a repeating um, subunit. So today's experiment, we talked about silly putty. Silly putty is made out of two components. The components of A, polyalcohol monomer, or the, sorry, the vinyl alcohol monomer, and the tetrahydroxyborate anion, which is a cross-linking agent. Okay, so the vinyl alcohol monomer was a basic building block for this polymer synthase. So here it is. Here's the monomer piece. Here's the polymer, and notice how it just repeats over and over and over and over, however many times you want. So during the course of the reaction, what happened was the borax reacted with the polyvinyl uh, alcohol and created what we call a crosslink. So here's the first polymer chain, here's the second polymer chain, and the borax basically what it did is it just combined the two pieces of the polymer chains together and linked them, called a crosslink. So this is the effect of crosslinks on materials. So materials with no crosslinks, well, the chains do not link together, and they have a larger range of motion available to some chains. In other words, they're more bouncy. <clears throat> with crosslinks, the more chains link together, this increases the stiffiness, and there's less range of motion available, and therefore they're more rigid and stiff.